<laughs> yes, Grand Theft Auto Vice City came out. Finally, came out last night at 12. Oh, I was playing this game all day. I, I don't like the controls, the left and right on a tight screen because you always mess up when you're going too fast. But that's something to get used to. Kind of used to it now, a bit. Turn this down. That's a really fun game. Let's just zoom in. And then I completed some missions. Good thing I didn't hit that cop. But I hit the taxi, I think. I think that was a taxi. I'm looking through my camera. I'm playing this. This is really hard. Come on, focus. There we go. Yeah, as you can see, um, it's like I turn and then my car goes out of control. Like the physics in this game are just absolutely amazing. And missions are. So far, the missions are all right. I had one hard one, but I got past it. And this app does cost $6.99, though, so a little pricey. No, $4.99. This app costs $4.99, a little pricey, but it's still. I, I believe it's worth it. It's worth it. It's like a console, like it's in the description console um, graphics. I think it was for this game. It was console graphics, but. It's actually, it's like you're playing on a PS2, but just a bit upgraded. So just look at this. I'll take out my chainsaw. Look at this, I run so slow with my chainsaw, I switch to my handgun, look how fast I run. Let's rob this guy's car. Slow down there, big guy. Oh no, I'm gonna take your car, I like your car. Let's back up. Let's fight someone. I want to cut someone. <laughs> Why is it going out of focus every second? Stop. Okay, I gotta run. Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh. Okay, the device is going out of focus. Okay, so that's the game basically. Really addicting. I give it 10 out of 10. On the iPad, it would probably be even better because of the bigger screen. But it's a crazy game, $4.99. I recommend it to you guys. You guys should get this game.